next piece is called Lecture. It's a lecture from someone to someone else. But I believe the man will get something out of it. A real woman isn't impressed by your money. I said, a real woman isn't impressed by your money. And I know, I know, I know, this sounds funny, but what's impressive is, can you help make those dark, gloomy, winter-like days feel warm, bright, and sunny? Because trust me, buddy, she's been taking care of herself long before you. A real woman is impressed with how much money a man makes because she knows there's much, much more that's in stake. Sadly, a lot of men have made this mistake thinking they can just keep giving them money like, here, here, miss, take. You see, some will talk incorrectly the true definition of the provider. She don't need you to be her Jehovah Jireh because you can never be above her father God. Though you do play an intricate part. The origin from where all of this starts is from the depths of a being's heart. So let's dig deeper, shall we? Hmm? <laughs> Marriage is the end goal of what every relationship should be. But before the woman can become the bride, she must first taste and see that the husband-to-be is good. Get your mind out the gutter. I'm not talking sexually. You wouldn't be able to keep dating her if she didn't think you could handle her intimately. But she wants to know, are you capable of leading her spiritually? Are you able to converse with her intelligently? And more importantly, are you able to handle her emotionally with a love that is unconditionally motivated? Genuinely reciprocated instead of perpetrated. Dedicated to show she's appreciated with a unique love that cannot be duplicated, replicated, or regenerated. Able to be playful as little kids, <laughs> but still be <clears throat> sophisticated. See, I'm talking about a love that will have her intoxicated under your kingly essence. You cannot treat her as a mere peasant, cannot demand her for her reverence, because lack of respect can surely lead to a severance. But instead, you must lay yourself down for her good. Yeah. A real woman isn't fixated on your money. But don't get it twisted, she's not awaiting someone that is irresponsibly bummy and you must be crazy to think she wants someone that is lazy. She needs someone that is trustworthy instead of shady. Someone that will never leave her nor forsake her but be there in spirit on a daily basis. And she should lost into to your presence with joy and relish. Because she doesn't want someone that is uncaring, mean, and hellish. She don't want someone that is egotistical, tight-fisted, and selfish because she understands the importance of being a giver. If and when she really needs help, she'll like for you to deliver. Sometimes what she needs cannot be bought by cash, gold, or silver. Instead, she needs a toasthold supplier. You must be a man of your word. She doesn't want a liar. Someone that can help her get out of every tough situation like MacGyver. <laughs> that you may present her spotless as a glorious survivor without blemish. You are to love, nourish, and cherish her as yourself, add value instead of diminished. She ought to keep on loving you even after your assignment is finished. Yeah, don't forget, you're the head of her and she's supposed to submit to you. But if you're not taking care of your business, then she may not want to. So make sure you keep doing your father which arts and heavens will. Protect her from the devil that comes to destroy, kill, and steal. She will reverence you as her husband as you're fitting the bill. Real, holistically, you two should become one simultaneously to end that long-lasting relationship search. 
I know this is a great mystery, but this whole time, actually, I was speaking concerning Christ in the church.